Move over, Punxsutawney Phil, because we have our own rodent named Flatiron Freddy to look for today. There goes my pen. <laughs> now, unlike Phil, Flatiron Freddy is dead. He's actually a stuffed yellow-bellied marmot. Nine News reporter Courtney Yoon joins us live from Boulder. Courtney, we're just waiting to see how he enters this year. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Jordan and Corey. We're standing right by his stump right now. He's sleeping in there. And uh, yeah, we're waiting to see how he arrives this year. I'm here with Ranger Dave Gustafson. Good morning, Ranger Hi. Dave. How are you? We're doing good. good. We're doing good this morning. We're excited. We're anticipating uh, Flatiron Freddy to come out here this morning. Tell us a little bit about the history of Flatiron Freddy. How did he become this weather predictor? Yeah, so um, it's kind of a long history, but uh, I'll give you the short version. Um, Back in 1974, he was hit by a car and uh, put up in our Flagstaff Nature Center uh, for the uh, summer. It usually closes during the winter time. And um, one winter um, before the, the center closed, they forgot to wrap him up in plastic. That's how we take care of our mounts in the winter time. And what happened when they opened the doors up in the spring, um, he had kind of got torn apart by mice. They were probably using his fur for you know their nest. Um, the staff at that time decided to throw him out. And uh, sometimes as rangers, we like to dig around in the dumpsters and we found him. So we decided to uh, save him and start the groundhog tradition. Wonderful. Well, because we don't have groundhogs here in Colorado. We don't, no. We have the next best thing, which is a yellow belly marmot. Very similar in biology, very similar in size, shape, hibernation patterns. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, when you think about Groundhog Day and you want to make predictions like whatever Puxitani Phil made today, think about it as a forecast for, for Pennsylvania. So, if you want the real forecast of what's going to happen here in Colorado, you need to use Flat Iron Freddy. Right, yeah. yeah. We need to hear what he has to say yeah. or see what he does or whatever that is. Yep. Um, tell it. So there's always a clue every year as to how he's going to arrive because he arrives in a surprising way. Sometimes it's on skis, sometimes it's on a snowboard. What Do you have a clue for us this year? You know, I've been by a stump a lot this year. Uh, it usually sits right out here next to this tree. And uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been hearing the song. He just keeps playing. And I've, you've probably heard it before. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs uh, out? Uh, woo, woo, <laughs> woo, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I've definitely been hearing that in his stump. So he's been he's been spinning that song for a little bit. Then he's been getting ready for something. Yeah, I've been hearing him building things in there. Um, I'm not quite for sure what he's got in store. Okay, yeah. well, so there's some guesses with that. He's yeah. building something. Has something to do with dogs? Maybe yeah. we'll see in like like 20, 30 minutes. Well, around around eight o'clock is when things will start. Yeah, start we'll off. start about eight o'clock, and then uh, I don't know sometimes he's in the stump, sometimes he's not. Um, usually it's about eight twenty before he pops his head out of somewhere. So right around 820, we'll probably, we'll probably see what's going on. All yeah. right, that sounds good. Yeah. Thank you, Ranger Dave. You bet, thank you. Okay, guys, so yeah, tune in around 8 o'clock today is when everything will get kicked off here, and we may see Flatiron Freddy around 820 Sorry. probably. Back Just to jamming over here to who let the dogs out. Do we think it's like a dog <laughs> sled? He's building the sled or something like that? Maybe Flatiron Freddy's like, dude, I'm just a fan of the Baja men. Okay. Like, you know, like, let me be, all right? <laughs> Cordy, you could tell you wanted to laugh that whole yeah. time, too. It's a fun tradition. You can let that laugh out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think those are all some great guesses that you guys have there. Maybe a dog sled, something like that. I don't know. Who let the dogs out has got to be.